Oh, this is cake land, huh? It's really cool. It gets better looking every year. Can we start making cupcakes already? Welcome to Cakeland, family, where you can make just about every type of dessert. You can make a cake over here, and you can make cupcakes over here, and also cookies. Let's check it out and see what you'd like to make. Well, Junior, why don't you explore a little bit, and then we'll see what we want to make, yeah? Hmm, there's so many decisions. Let's look at the cupcakes. Good choice. Well, let's check out the cupcakes. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's put that down in here. Twist it, and let's give it a push. Okay. All right, now let's get set up for our frosting. All right, let's have some blue sparkles for the frosting. Let's put that in. Okay. That looks yummy. Now that we made this one with sprinkle frosting, let's try and make another with a different kind of frosting. Now let's make a green cupcake. And let's add some orange frosting. Okay, it's just about ready. Pack it down, and let's get started. All right, birthday boy, here is your cupcake with frosting, and here is your cupcake with sprinkles. Mmm, this is delicious. It's really good, but I want to make a cookie. Great, cookie's coming right up. All right, let's start molding it first. And now we'll place it in the cookie holder. Smush it on in. Mmm. Look at that cookie. Now let's decorate it. Let's do a heart decoration. And we'll do a purple heart. Ooh, look at that. And also maybe a star. Let's do a star with sprinkles. There we go. Here's your cookie. Enjoy. That's the best cookie I've ever seen. Thank you. I'm all ready to make the cake now. 
All right, time for the birthday cake. Let's get started. All right, let's move over to the cake mold. Let's first make our base. And we will use vanilla flavored. Look at that base. Now let's put some frosting on it. And we'll do some strawberry frosting. Now let's do the frosting. First we need the frosting plate and the frosting container. Okay, let's get this frosting on. Now we'll add some Funfetti sprinkles. And for the birthday boy, a special birthday cake. Thank you, Cakeland. This is the best birthday ever. Well, honey, it's not over yet. Brooke and I have a surprise for you. Well, you're right about that. We do have one more surprise for you. It's your very own party bus. This was so unexpected! Holy moly! Wow! It fits me perfectly! Well, thanks for all of your help, Brooke. We couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome, Play-Doh family. I was happy to help. What a great birthday! Stylish new hair and a stylish new ride. <laughs> I'm Brooke, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below for more videos. We'll see you next time. Ooh, isn't this a nice spot? Whoa, look at all this space. Oh, well, I'm so excited. This looks wonderful. Welcome, Play-Doh family. I have the perfect kit for your new restaurant. It's called the Meal Making Kitchen. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that's exactly what we need. Okay. We have a pan, an oven tray, we have a knife, a spoon, a fork, a cookie cutter, a spatula, a plate, and we have some recipes for some good food. We also have some more utensil molds. We have some patterns, a little toaster, and it looks like we have a couple more molds for different types of food here. And we have our stove. Hmm, let's try and set this up, shall we? Okay, now we're ready to start cooking. While it looks like we have a few recipes, which would you like to make first? We have steak and green beans and mashed potatoes. We have crescent rolls. We have bacon. And it looks like some dessert, some brownies and ice cream. Well, I like to make a good steak. Let's make that first. All right, you got it. Steak it is. All right. Let's get some nice, good steak right here. And for an addition, let's do some chicken, just for fun. 
Mmm, let's get some good chicken in there. Okay, let's close this up. Give it a good squish. Now let's put it in the oven. Open it up. Put this inside. So we'll let it cook for a little bit. Now let's make our green beans. We'll put them in the pot. Let's grab a little bit of green. Now let's put that inside. And we'll close it and we'll give it a good squish. All right, and now we'll put them on the stove. Let them simmer. And now that we've put that on the stove, let's start with our mashed potatoes and gravy. Push some of that down. Let's make room for our gravy. That look delicious. I think our steak and chicken are done. Mmm. Look at that steak and chicken. Mmm. That looks like quite the dinner so far. And now let's check on our green beans. They look scrumptious. Okay. Mmm. That looks like a healthy meal. There you go. Let me know how it tastes. Mmm. I can't wait to try it. You know? I've always wanted to make a really good crescent roll. All right, so let's start with some yellow. I need to use a rolling pin. Maybe I could use the table leg. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Looks good to me. And now I'll use my cutter. Make some nice good slices. And then I just start rolling these. There we go. Now I just need to place them on my cooking sheet. And while they're cooking, we'll get our frosting started. And we have our mold. Let's put that inside. And let's get some frosting. Okay, now the frosting is all rolled out. Let's check on our crescent rolls. Mmm, they look good to me. Mmm, those look delicious. What do you think? 
Here you go. Mmm, I knew I made a good recipe. How about if I make a sandwich? Okay, you got it. Now for some lettuce and cheese. All right, let's put that together and we'll smush it down a little bit. Make more of a leaf. And I will just roller cut this. All right. And now let's add some tomatoes. Mmm, that looks like a good sandwich. Now let's add some chips. Okay, we cut them up. Now let's put them on the plate. Here you go. Let me know what you think. Yes, I'm so excited to try my new sandwich. Mmm, everything here looks so delicious. This definitely has to go in our restaurant. Yeah, I would come here every day and eat everything. Well, you do have a point. This all looks delicious. Something's missing. I know, we still need a good dessert menu. You're right, I almost forgot. The trucks should be bringing that in right now. Delivery! Thank you! Oh great, the cookies! You're welcome! Bye! Ooh, it looks like we have a butterfly stencil and a star stencil and some blue cookie paste and some brown cookie paste and a whole bunch of different other colors. We have some raspberry. Mm, looks like some yellow sprinkles and some pink sprinkles. Great, let's make some cookies. All right, let's make our first butterfly cookie. 
Ooh, look at that, that looks nice. Okay, our second butterfly cookie. Mmm. Now let's do a star cookie. Let's do another butterfly cookie, why not? All right, let's place the cookies on this plate. Stack them. So that looks nice and neat. And we'll add our stars. Mmm, doesn't that look yummy? Here are your cookies. Enjoy! These cookies look delicious. They'll definitely bring guests. I want to eat the whole plate. Thank you so much for helping us get the recipes for our new restaurant. You're very welcome. Boy, after making all this food, I sure am hungry. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. We'll see you next time. Woo! Hi, I, I was behind this box the whole time. <laughs> okay, um, welcome back to Cooking with Brandy. Today, Phoebe is craving some cupcakes, aren't you? Yes, always! <laughs> I'm always craving cupcakes too, so I'm super excited to open this up. It is called the Cupcake Celebration. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, so this is everything that came in the box. We have the platform here, we have a bunch of different molds. We have this Ferris wheel thing that you're gonna rotate your cupcakes on, which is really cute. You have a, I believe this is a sprinkle maker or it's the um, icing, something like that. This is something cool. <laughs> and this is the colors that it came with. Okay, so our first step is to put this right here, and we're gonna put this thing right here. Okay, now, so you're going to attach your Ferris wheel, and you're gonna grab this. It's gonna push them into the Ferris wheel. And now, the fifth cupcake basket. Whoa! You're going to grab this, and this goes here. So our last step, we're going to put this right here. Now we get to start on our cupcakes. So first we are going to make our little cakes. For this, I'm going to use yellow. Wow, that's really soft. So just push your Play-Doh in your mold here. And what you do when you're done is you take it out and you're just gonna put it right on top, just like that. Now I'm going to be using the pink Play-Doh and I'm gonna put that in my green cupcake. Push that in there. There you go. And place it right on top. Second one done. Now, I'm going to take the blue and let's put that on our yellow one here. That is our third cupcake done. Okay, for the next ones, I'm going to use my own Play-Doh, so I'm gonna use that for the blue one here. So for our last cupcake, I'm going to use my white Play-Doh. Place it right on top. Okay, our cupcakes are done. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna put your cupcakes right onto this Ferris wheel. So now we're gonna fill up our frosting. I'm going to use this one. Smooth it out, fill it up good. Okay, let's add our frosting. Now I'm gonna use different frosting. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to be using this blue Play-Doh here. So for our blue cupcake, I'm gonna be using the yellow Play-Doh. For this one, I'm going to use red Play-Doh. Okay, all of my cupcakes are ready.
So now it is time to add our sprinkles. So we, this is our sprinkle machine here. I'm just gonna use my plate here to catch the sprinkles and then I will put it on the cupcakes afterwards. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I think that is enough sprinkles. So I'm going to twist the sprinkles onto my plate again. So in order to make my rainbow sprinkle, I'm just trying to add as many colors as I can. So here we have our sprinkles, now we're gonna put them on our cupcakes. It kinda looks like a galaxy, like a galaxy sprinkle. My sprinkles are done. Now it is time to add toppings, and there are many different molds here, so let's figure out which one we should use. I think I'm going to go for this little heart wafer looking thing. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to just push that in. And here is our little heart wafer. We're just gonna put this one right here. So now I'm going to use this mold here. It looks kind of like an Oreo. That's what it looks like. Now this is gonna be the half of our Oreo. I wanna make a second one so that I can put some white filling in between. And here is our second cookie done. Now we are going to take the white Play-Doh now we're gonna put that right in the middle, close it up with this cookie. We're going to put that one right here, and that is done. Now let's make another topping. Got my strawberry mold right here, and where the stem should be, I wanna add some of my green Play-Doh. <gasps> That's beautiful. Okay, so now I am totally done with all of my cupcakes. I have made this one here, which is like a candy topping, I guess. Beautiful sprinkles for this donut I made for my special cupcake. Okay, so now we have a Ferris wheel full of delicious sweets. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and come back next time. Bye! Hello, today we're at the bakery and we're waiting for a special delivery. Here he comes now! Oh perfect! The cake is here! Hi Brooke! Can you make me a birthday cake just like this one for my friend? Why sure! I have just the colors. I'll use white for the base, pink for the flowers, and green for the decorations. Let's start baking. Let's add some designs.
Okay, all done. What do you think? It's perfect! Thank you, Brooke! You're welcome. Now you know how to make your own Play-Doh birthday cake. What's your favorite birthday cake? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm Brooke, we'll see you next time. Hi guys, I'm Brandy. Today we're going to be making pie. Not pie that you can eat, Play-Doh pie. And we're gonna feed it to Phoebe. I cannot eat it, but I'll make it. Okay, so it'll be super fun. As you can see, we have different colors of Play-Doh and we're just gonna pretend they're flavors. So let's get started. The first step is to roll out our dough. So I'm getting my brown Play-Doh to represent dough. And I'm gonna just put half of it on to my plastic here. Don't wanna get the table dirty, so I have a little plastic. Okay, using my rolling pin, I'm just gonna roll that out. Okay, so I've just finished rolling out my Play-Doh and look, it looks just like pie crust. So now we're gonna put it onto our pie pan. It goes right on, let's just push it down. And now, you know, just like you're making a real pie, you just wanna cut off the excess part right here on the sides. So some of that is off. And there's our pie crust. It looks beautiful. So now that my pie crust is done, we're gonna start on a filling. And Phoebe, what kind of filling would you like? Well, I'm craving some cherry pie. Okay, that means we have to make cherry filling. So I've got my mold here. Find the cherry. So you just wanna fill this out and you'll have your cherry mold. It's more pink. Just fill that mold out. And there's a stem here, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of green. So using my little pick here, I'm just gonna grab this out of the mold. So here's our cherry. Let's place it into our pie. And let's just keep doing that until we have all of the pie filled up with cherries. So I have just finished putting all of my cherries into my cherry pie. And now what we wanna do is grab more crust and just lie it on top of the pie. Now that I have finished rolling out my pie crust, I'm gonna take it off of this piece of plastic here. And I'm just gonna lie that nicely on top of my pie. Oh, that looks so cool. Now you just, again, wanna take off the excess. And my grandma makes pies pretty often, and she does this with her pies. She makes three little incisions right here. So I just want to do that. Hello, Grandma. Thanks for teaching me how to make pies. I'm making Play-Doh pies right now. Hope you're proud. <laughs> okay, so that is our pie done. It looks so awesome. It looks like a real pie, but don't eat it because that's not good, but it looks beautiful. So now, are you excited, Phoebe? I'm gonna cut a piece for you. Yes, I'm so hungry. Okay, let's just cut our pie. Cut a little, little piece. And let's just grab it out here. Okay, that looks cool. I think that looks cool. You can see some of the cherry, the stem there. It's pretty good to me. Here you go, Phoebe. That is your first pie, your cherry pie. Thank you. Now, oh, I forgot. Do you want some whipped cream on that? Yes, please. You just grab the pie. And this part is so cool. We're gonna put some white in here. Put it into 
this. And you want to just push it down and it's going to look like whipped cream. <laughs> so cool. Okay, here's your whipped cream. So now that we have made our cherry pie, I wanna do something a little different. So, hmm, let's make blueberry. Okay, first things first, gotta roll out our pie crust. It's the base. So let's get some pie crust up in here. That looks like enough. Make it into a little circle. Get your rolling pin and roll it out. Okay, I think that's good. Let's peel it off. Place it on our pie pan. Wow, that was like, that's a perfect fit. Okay, our pie crust is done. Now we are going to add some blueberries. Oops, so I got my blue Play-Doh here. And you wanna just fill that up in our blueberry mold. See, right there. Ooh, very cute. Place that right in our pie. And keep doing that. So I've just finished putting all my blueberries in the pie and I think they look amazing. It took a lot of, you know, time and effort, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So next, we're gonna put more pie crust on the top. Now I did fill the whole pie last time, but this time I'm gonna do little strips just to change it up, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna get a piece like this. And I'm gonna roll it out. Now I'm just gonna put whipped cream directly on this pie. So, put some white Play-Doh in here, and we're just gonna push it down. That is scary how much <laughs> it looks like a real pie. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Like. I'm so tempted to eat it, but I won't do that. I'm just gonna cut it and feed it to Phoebe. Okay, let's cut into this beautiful cake. Ooh, it hurts me because it's so beautiful, but it's okay. Okay. We're just gonna grab it out. There you go, Phoebe. Your blueberry pie and your cherry pie. Enjoy. Thank you, I will. Okay, that was it. We made two beautiful pies. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below and come back next time. Bye. Hello guys, welcome back to Cooking with Brandy. Today we are at the cake shop and we are going to be making cake. Okay, let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay, so as you can see, there are tons of different stuff that it came with. You have some molds here, you got some plates, you have this cute little platter that you can showcase your cake on. Um, you're gonna assemble this and it's going to make your cakes. And you have a bunch of Play-Doh here. So the first thing we're going to do is assemble our cake maker. You have this thing which you put right here. This goes here and you have this thing. 
and this goes on top of this. Okay, so that was easy as cake. First, I think we should get started with this. I'm going to make pink cake. Oh, that's so cool. So as you can see, there are little sparkles here. There's like blue, and this is pink Play-Doh. It has blue squares in them. Just gonna flatten that out. Oop, not too much. And we're gonna push our mold right in there. Take off the excess, push out our cake. Oh, that looks so cute. We need some frosting. So I will use the white for frosting, and this Play-Doh has colorful sprinkles in them. Oh, that is so cool. Boop, put that right on top. Let's make one more layer of cake using the blue. This one does not have sparkles in them. Okay, take that off. Now this is gonna be a three layer cake. So I've got my second layer of cake. That looks adorable. Now that we have that, we are going to finish it off with a smaller cake. So this smaller cake, I'm going to make yellow. So this Play-Doh, the yellow one, also has little confetti flakes in them. And I'm gonna use my smaller cake mold here to push that in. Ah, <gasps> adorable. Okay, let's put that right on top. Use our smaller mold to cut a piece of frosting. Let's put that right on top. Now, of course, we need some decorations. I'm going to put on a few shells. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the bottom half. Place that right on top of your cake, just like that. <gasps> balloons, I think these are balloons. So I'm going to use this balloon mold here. And of course, I have to make the balloons different colors. I'm just gonna push them together so that it can take, like we could take them out really easily. And let's see how it turned out. So now I'm going to place my balloons right over here. And I think that is done. I think it looks adorable. So now I'm going to place it on my table. Okay, so now that I've finished my first cake, I'm going to make another cake using this one. We've got our mold here. It looks like a pretty wedding cake or something like that, maybe a birthday cake. Okay, so I want to add a chocolate chip. And here's the mold. So what I'm going to do, I don't have any dark brown to, you know, um, use as the chocolate chips, but I have this kind of darkish orangish color. It's, it's my own Play-Doh. So I'm just gonna push that right into these chocolate chips. Okay, so I put all of my chocolate chips in. Now we're going to put the rest of the cookie batter. And I've got my lighter brown for that. Let's just push that right in. Okay, so now that we have taken off the excess of our cookie, we're going to place it on our cake along with our nutter butter. So I really, want to just use as many toppings as I can. So I'm just going to do one more and I'm going to use this little sunflower looking thing here. Pull it out. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm done with my flower. Now I'm just going to put that one right here and I'll put my nut butter right there. I think that's done. So I'm going to put that one right here on my platter. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, come back next time, subscribe down below, and give this video a thumbs up. See you later, bye. Hello, welcome. Today we're at the Play-Doh Pastry Shop, and these are our customers. Let's take their orders. Hi there, I'm Brooke, and I'll be your server today. What can I get you? Hi Brooke, thank you. I think we'd like to share a berry pie, please. Okay. A berry pie. You got it. Let's see what our other guests would like to order. Hi there. 
I would like a cookie, please. Hmm. I think I'll have a cupcake. All right. One cookie and one cupcake. Coming right up. Now let's go over to the kitchen. But first, I have to put on my apron. We're ready. First, let's start with the pie crust. We'll make a lemon pie crust. We'll use pink for the raspberries and blue for the blueberries. And now for the top of the crust. Now we'll just cut some slits. Now let's put it in the oven to bake. First let's put on our oven mitt. Let's check on our pie. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. It looks like we need a few more minutes. While that's finishing, let's start making our cupcake. Let's start with purple for the cupcake and white for the frosting. Let's add a star for decoration.
Now let's choose the colors for our cookie. Let's do orange for the decoration and green for the base. Let's do the butterfly. It looks like our pie is ready. Now let's cut a slice of the pie. Mm. Okay, everything's ready. Now it's time to serve our customers. Okay, here are your two slices of pie. Enjoy. Yes, that looks delicious. Mmm, I'm so excited. Here's your cookie. And here is your cupcake. Enjoy, ladies. Mmm, that looks yummy. I can't wait. Oh, so much frosting. Thank you, Brooke. Enjoy your desserts, everyone. Mmm, that was yummy. We'll take the check, please. I'm so full. Yeah, we're all done. We'll take the check, too. How much do we owe you? All right, let's see. It is $10 for the pie and $20 for the cupcake and cookie. I'll take your plate. I'll take that for you. Here you go, Brooke. Here's $10 and a tip for you. Well, thanks. Here you go, Brooke. It's $20 and a tip for you. Thanks. Let's count the money we made. $10 and $20. That's $30. And here's our tip. 10 cents plus 10 cents. That's 20 cents. Thanks for the tip, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Now you know how to play restaurant with your toys. Let us know in the comments below what you like to cook. I'm Brooke, and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, I'm Brandy. Today I'm here with Phoebe and we're going to be making some cookies. But not only are we going to be making cookies, we're also going to get ready to sell them. So the first cookie we're going to make is a sugar cookie with sprinkles and frosting. And how are we going to make the cookies? With Play-Doh, of course. So I'm going to just push a little bit into this thing here. I'm going to use the white Play-Doh and smush that right on top. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to use some green first. Just put that right in one of those holes. This part is optional, but I like to add some details. So, 
I'm gonna do one more sprinkle and that will be pink. Okay, so that is done. That is our sugar cookie with frosting and sprinkles. Okay, so that one is ready to be plated. Now let's start on our next cookie. I think we should do this Oreo looking cookie. So I do have brown here. I don't have anything darker than that, but this will work. Look at that, that's so cool. Okay, now I'm smashing the second one in. Oh, ooh, that one's even nicer. So now that that is done and you have your two cookies, of course we have to put cream in the middle. That is the best part. So I'm going to put some white Play-Doh. And there it comes. Now let's cover that up. I'm gonna add a little decoration on top of that. Maybe let's do the star. Ta-da! So now I'm done with my Oreo cookie. Now I'm gonna plate that one as well. We're going to make this heart-shaped wafer. And I've got red for that. Pretty! I'm done with this. This one came with another set and there are other different cookies here. Okay, so I'm gonna make this like nutter butter type of thing. I love nutter butters, so let's push that in. Take off the excess. Ooh. Okay, so I've got my big plate here. I'm gonna put that right there. And for my last cookie, I'm going to make a gingerbread man. So now we're gonna put our gingerbread right here. There are little buttons there. So I'm going to fill them out with a different color. Okay, we have to add little eyes. So I'm gonna make his eyes yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a few last touches. I'm gonna fill out this heart mold and this flower mold just for decoration. And fill out our mold here. So we're gonna add that one right here. So I've got my yellow here. Gonna add some green, darker green in this one. A blue here. Add a red. And I'll use our pink we just made. And now, let's see how it turned out. Okay, now that we are done making our cookies, let's figure out how to display them so that we can sell them and people will want to buy them. Maybe we'll put this Oreo right here, the sugar cookie here, this wafer here, and this big plate right here. Well, that looks pretty good, but there's something wrong here. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Do you know, Phoebe? Well, I think you have to put the cookies on the top. She's right, she's absolutely right. We need to put the things we just made right on the top so people will buy them. So, let's put this cake down and we'll swap these. So this teacup will go on the bottom. We can put our other desserts on the other shelves. Okay, so our counter is nice and stocked. It is ready for customers to come in and see if they wanna buy some. And what, what's that? We're forgetting something. I have to taste one, of course. So, hmm, which one do you wanna try? Well, I'll try the sugar cookie one. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below and come back next time. Bye.